Traditionally, business owners have judged business performance by how much money they make. Think business performance, you're thinking sales, GP, profit, return on capital. But while financial measures are definitely important, they only give you part of the picture. And they typically focus on the short term while you're trying to build a business to stand the test of time. So I want to introduce something this week that not only is a more holistic view of business performance, but ties directly back to your vision and strategy. Welcome to the Balanced Scorecard. Now the Balanced Scorecard looks at your business from four different perspectives to measure its health and performance. You can see these uh, on the board here. And it's called the Balanced Scorecard because it means you're looking at strategic measures in addition to the traditional financial measures to get a more balanced view of the business. So we have these four segments or different perspectives. Obviously we have financial, uh, but we also have customer's perspective and then process and people. So just because we're taking a balanced look at your organisation doesn't mean that we're going to ignore traditional financial measures. So quite the opposite actually, the financial perspective is a major focus of the balanced scorecard. So are you making money? Are your shareholders happy? The financial health of your organisation may be a lagging indicator showing the result of past decisions, but it's still incredibly important. Money keeps companies alive and the financial perspective focuses on revenue and profits and cash. So then we have the customer perspective and the customer perspective focuses on the people who actually buy your products and services. Are you keeping your existing customers happy? Are you winning new business? How are you viewed in your industry compared to your competitors? The customer satisfaction is a great forward-looking indicator of success and the way you're viewed by your customers today directly impacts how much money you'll make tomorrow. So then we have the process perspective and this looks at how smoothly your business is running. Sometimes this area is called operational excellence and efficiency is very important here. So is your business reducing waste, speeding things up, doing more with less? Is lean thinking prevalent across your business? Or are there obstacles standing between new ideas and execution? How quickly can you adapt to changing business conditions? So if you're focused on the, the financial uh, and ignoring operational efficiency, you won't be building an effective uh, or a sustainable business model. And then we have uh, the people perspective. And this is often called the learning and growth perspective or organisational capacity. And I favour the people description for a number of reasons, but mostly because it's easy to understand. The broadly uh, the people perspective is focused on the skills, the culture and the capability of the most important asset in your business, which is your team. So are your people happy and satisfied? Do they have the required skills? Are they learning and developing? What is the underlying culture? While most business owners would agree that their people are critical to the success of their business, the, the majority don't take the steps required to actually measure uh, critical team factors. Now these can be independent of each other uh, to some extent, these four uh, perspectives here, and sometimes they're shown in a circular diagram or, or a flow. Now I like to have them stacked uh, because there's a logical cycle at work here. So if you train and develop uh, your people and build a culture of collaboration, they'll make your internal processes run more smoothly. Then a better running business takes better care of its customers and satisfied and loyal customers will buy more and ensure a stronger financial outcome for your business. So that's the balanced scorecard in a nutshell. And not only is it a more holistic view of your business performance, but a way to directly measure against your vision and strategy. Next week we'll look at how you might pull together your own balanced scorecard. Until then, it's goodbye from me.